Hey friends, Tony here from Teal Yarn Crafts, and today I'm sharing another Tunisian crochet stitch pattern for your toolkit. This is the simple chevron stitch pattern. If you're excited to try this new stitch, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for even more tutorials, free patterns, and product reviews. For this tutorial, I'm using worsted weight yarn and a six and a half millimeter crochet hook. The simple chevron stitch is worked over a multiple of 14 plus one. I'm starting with a chain of 29. We'll start with a chain of 29. From here, we need to do our foundation row. So here on the front, we can see the Vs of our chain. We'll actually rotate our chain to the back and find these back bumps. That's where we'll pull up our loops for our foundation chain. So we'll find the second chain from the hook. So here's the first. Here's the second. Insert your hook under that back bump, yarn over, pull up a loop, and keep that loop on your hook. And we'll do that for each bump down the line. So find your next bump, insert, yarn over, and pull up the loop. Insert under the bump, yarn over, and pull up the loop. And we'll do that for each chain down the line. Once you finish pulling up loops in your bump, join me to do the return pass of our foundation row. I've now pulled up a loop in all of the back bumps of my chains. So I have 29 loops on my hook and that's because I started with 29 chains. So now I can do my return pass, which starts with a yarn over and pull through just one loop on the hook. And that is our chain one to start the return pass. From here, we'll yarn over and pull through the next two loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and we'll repeat that until we have just one loop left on our hook. Now with one loop left on our hook, we can begin the forward pass for our simple chevron stitch. So this first loop on our hook counts as our first stitch, so we're skipping this first vertical bar. Our first step is going to be to yarn over, which is an increase here right at the beginning of our stitch pattern. From here, we're going to simple each of the next five stitches. So remember that this loop on the hook counted as our first stitch, so we skip this first vertical bar, and we'll pull up a loop for simple stitch in this next bar. Insert your hook from right to left, just under that front vertical bar, just under one loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, and keep that loop on your hook. So that was one of our five. Here's two. Here's three. Here's four and here's five. Our next step is to skip the following stitch. So this vertical bar, we're going to skip right over it. So this is the bar we just worked into. This is our next bar. We're gonna skip that bar and we're going to knit the following stitch, which is this one here. So you'll notice with your stitches, you have a front vertical bar and a back bar. We're gonna insert our hook between those two bars, pushing to the back of our work yarn over and pull up a loop for the knit stitch. Again, we've skipped this stitch. For the following stitch, identify, identify the front and back bar, insert your hook between those two bars, yarn over, pull up the loop for your knit stitch. And now we're going to skip the following stitch and simple stitch each of the next five. So here's one, here's two, Here's three, here's four, and five. From here, we're going to yarn over, which is an increase. We're going to knit the following stitch and yarn over again. So here where we skipped stitches, this is the valley of our chevron. And here where we flanked a knit stitch by yarn overs, that's the peak of our chevron, okay? So our next step is to simple stitch each of the next five stitches. Here's one, here's two, here's three, four, and five. We need to make another valley. So we'll skip one, knit one, skip one. So skip this next one, knit the following stitch. So find that front and back bar. Insert your hook between those bars, pushing to the back of the work, yarn over and pull up a loop, skip the following stitch. 
So now we're at our last six stitches. So remember this is the valley of our chevron. So we're skipping this next stitch. We'll start our simple stitch five right here. So simple one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to yarn over now and work our last stitch, making sure we catch both loops of that last stitch. When you're looking at the last stitch of Tunisian crochet, you've got a front, front bar and a back bar. Make sure you get under both of those loops. Just like that. Yarn over and pull up that loop. So that ends the forward pass of our simple chevron pattern. So we've got two valleys and a peak here. Now we can do our return pass, same as normal. We'll yarn over, pull through one loop to start, then yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, until there is one loop left on the hook. Let's move on to our next row. This simple chevron stitch is a one row repeat, so we'll essentially repeat what we did before. We'll begin with a yarn over, and remember that this first loop on your hook counts as your first stitch, so we're skipping this first vertical bar, and we'll need to simple stitch each of the next five. This next stitch is the yarn over from the previous row, but you'll notice it also has a front and a back bar. So we'll simple stitch by inserting our hook from right to left under that front bar, yarn over, and pull up the loop. So that's one. Here's two. Here's three, four, and five. Next we're going to skip one, which is this guy right here, and we'll knit the next stitch here in the valley of our chevron, and we'll skip the following stitch as well. Stim simple stitch each of the next five. So here's the stitch we're skipping, simple starts here. So here's one, two, three, for this next stitch is a yarn over. It's a little tougher to see, but it's got a front loop here. It's got a front loop here, and its back loop is tucked back here. So we're gonna simple by inserting our hook from right to left under the front loop of that yarn over, and pull up the loop. Now we're at the peak of our chevron, so we'll yarn over, knit this next stitch, so inserting our hook between the front and back vertical bar, pushing to the back of the work, yarn over and pull up the loop, and follow that with a yarn over. Now we need to simple each of the next five, the first of which being this yarn over right here. Simple stitch, one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're at a valley again, so we'll need to skip one, knit one, skip one. So skip this one, knit the next stitch, skip the following stitch right here. Now we're at our last six stitches. We'll need to simple each of the next five. Remember this is our skipped stitch. So we'll start our simple here for one, two, three, Here's four and five. Yarn over before your last stitch and then work your last stitch, making sure you get under both bars of that final stitch. Just like that. Yarn over, pull up the loop, and that ends your forward pass. Now we can do our return pass. Yarn over, pull through one, then yarn over, pull through two, two, and two, until there's just one loop left on the hook. We can really see the chevron starting to take shape now. Let's do one more row together just to make sure you got it. We begin our row with a yarn over. Skipping this first vertical bar, we'll simple stitch in each of the next five stitches. Don't forget this yarn over right here. We're going to simple stitch that stitch for one. Here's two. Here's three, four, and five. We're at a valley, skip one, knit one, skip one. Skip one, knit one, skip one. Simple stitch five. Here's one, two, three, 
four, and five. Here at the peak, we yarn over, knit one, yarn over, simple five. One, two, three, here's four, and five. At a valley, we're going to skip one, knit one, skip one. Skip one, knit one, skip one. Simple five, one, two, three, four. Your fifth one is this yarn over right here. It likes to hide. It looks like maybe there's not a stitch there, but there definitely is, I promise. We're going to simple that yarn over, yarn over, and work our last stitch. Pull up the loop. That completes our forward pass. Now we do the return pass, which starts with a chain one, then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, through two, and two again until there is just one loop left on the hook. How gorgeous is this chevron? And to think that it is so simple and it blocks out like a dream. You have these columns of knit stitches that stand out against the beautiful simplicity of our simple stitches. I absolutely adore this chevron stitch pattern and I hope you will as well. I developed the simple chevron stitch to create the Bahama blanket, which is now a free pattern on my blog, toycblog.com. Two-tone stripes are used to create this beautiful fade effect. This project uses Lion Brand Landscapes Breeze, a yarn that I reviewed in a previous Yarn Snob Reviews. Unfortunately, that yarn is sold out, but I've recommended several substitutes in the free pattern blog post. Now, if you're considering making the Bahama Blanket, check the description for a link to the free pattern as well as a tutorial video for making two-tone stripes. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.